Good morning. Lord Fossil falling to the last here. And the last? Because who really cares about the next generation anyway? I have money. What matters? Anyway, we're here today outside of Minister Scott Stewart's office in Townsville to celebrate the grand opening and approval of the Adani Carmichael Coal Mine. That's right. Last night they had their very last approval granted for the uh, reaping of billions of litres of groundwater. And um, of course, that does pose ramifications for people who use water for things like growing food, but we've come up with another solution. You see, here I have a plate of delicious, organic, fresh harvested coal right from the Galilee Basin. And I want to give you some ideas about how to prepare it in a culinary sense. See, I like my coal straight up. In fact, the more well done it is, the better. You know, it's, it's, it's no good just giving it a light saute. You really need to, you need to burn it. I mean, you need to burn the coal as much as possible. But release, release the carbons into, the, uh, into your nostrils and into the atmosphere. Because that's how you get the full flavor, you see. But anyway, without billions of liters of water, it's going to be no use trying to grow food. But instead, we can try to extract it. See, there's millions of tons of this stuff. Why not just eat the raw product? See, it's quite, uh, you know, it's, it's quite uh, crunchy on the palate. Delicious, delicious. The way I like to prepare it, though, is uh, with some uh, Shiraz Jus and uh, maybe a light um, Colandaise sauce in uh, medallions of coal. And of course, uh, the water all needs to be to, to wash the coal because it's very dirty. See, it's very dirty. Okay, we need to clean it to make it nice and shiny. And, um, and then it's fit for consumption, um, mostly by coal-fired power plants, but also for the average human being. Now, uh, I, Fossil Fullington the last, have been indulging in my share of coal and I'm feeling the health benefits already. You too could uh, join me in eating this delicious food. And um, I highly recommend it because there's probably not going to be much else on the, on the dying um, hinterland of this planet. In fact, the hinterland is disappearing. We're, we're going to be seeing a lot more shore, shoreline. Um, and, and as a fan of uh, sending my assets offshore, I find this a very appealing prospect. In fact, um, a lot of the profits from this coal will be going to my friends offshore. Um, it's okay though, farmers, farmers need not worry. We've created um, many jobs, we've created um, uh, 15 jobs. Um, so the farmers can transition to, uh, to a, 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 a career in cooking and preparing coal. Uh, from farming to fine dining, paddock to plate if you like. <laughs> so anyway, yes, with the groundwater firmly in our, uh, in our coal-fired bellies, we shall be exploring over the next while the, uh, the favourite recipes for preparing this, uh, this ancient, ancient food product. The most ancient food product there is, in fact. Anyway, would like to congratulate the Queensland Government for enabling us to make this very important transition in this climate of uncertainty. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to say my piece and uh, I'll be off now to uh, another country to launder my profits. Cover.